Guess who's back? Welcome you to Start to See Yourself Tech. I'm your host Jeremiah Daniel. Today we are looking at the general analysis for the Techno Camon CM, which was recently launched. And uh, if I'll try to get now, so should you get the Techno Camon CM? Is it a good deal? Stay tuned. At Santo City, we'll be right back to break it down for you. That Tecno has launched a new smartphone. I asked the question: Is it faster than Flash? Stronger yes. than, than Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Cyborg combined? And that just to resurrect in the new franchise? And the answer was no to all of those questions. So stay tuned to the general analysis of the Tecno Cam on CM. So first of all, the screen is a 5.7 inch HD IPS display of um, screen resolution it's um, 720p by 1440p now this doesn't make it a, a 2k screen i think thank goodness techno calls it hd plus but it's hd the only reason why it's not 720p by 1280 is because of that um, extra um, height of the screen if you may so it's 1440p and it's um, 364 ppi which it's not bad. I'm the kind of guy that actually prefers some 1080p screens to some 2K screens because uh, it's not only about resolution. The uh, color gamut, that's the RGB color space. There are other things that uh, makes a device a display good. And if it saves battery life, it's good because the battery here is only 3,000 milliamps. So I think Techno actually went with the right uh, choice for a 720p display, especially for the price. All right. Okay, so the um, processor we have a 1.2 GHz Cortex MediaTek 6737 uh, CPU. So it's a SOC from MediaTek. It's a quad core, which, yeah, it's um, bothersome actually for. I actually noticed that the amount of mobile gamers is actually increasing. So um, even in an octa core setting, some games don't run optimally. On MediaTek processor, so this is just going to actually wasn't the case. So if you are like a game fanatic, a hardcore modern combat gamer, this is not the device for you. But if you are just a casual user, you like to use your front facing and your red cameras, this is probably your best bet right now. So the RAM of things, uh, RAM side of things. Sorry, you have uh, two gigabytes of RAM, sixteen gigabytes of storage. Personally, I think Techno will have done way better than this. This is 2018, like. It's 2018, 16 gigabytes is not going to cut it, 2 gigabytes of RAM is not going to cut it. But although we have heard some rumors and speculations, and there's a 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage version coming out, maybe to be called the Technicam CM Pro. Nobody actually have an idea right now. But you can also expand the storage, thank goodness, to 128 gigabytes cameras. I would really love to see dual cameras. I mean, Yes, you could do what you could do with dual camera and just with a single camera lens, but it just ah. so. But they yeah, actually going to the normal tradition, a single camera, the back 10 megapixels. Of course, we can't really tell you much about the camera. It could be 20 megapixels and be a flop. It could be 10 freaking megapixels and be really nice. So we'll tell you more about the camera in our full review of this device. Of course, I mentioned the battery is 3,000 milliamps and. Um, it's 4G enabled and it has um, HIOS 2.0 on top of Android 7 unit. Of course, you guys know I'm not a very big fan of HIOS. I personally prefer XOS, but that's me. But um, that's my opinion. Yours should differ, of course. And then um, bonus, there is actually a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Linus can be proud. <laughs> so um, specs aside, you could read the specs of this device on pretty much any website once you type uh, Technocam on CM in Google. But we are here to actually give you what we think about this device. Of course, usually the Technocam on devices usually come uh, cost around let's say 70 to 80 sorry 60 to 70 thousand naira with the specs focusing on probably more of the middle tier to even breaking into the high end uh, aspects of uh, smartphones as we know it but um the thing is techno actually producing or releasing a sub 50 thousand naira camera lineup it's it's 
bring some concerns because one of two things are going to happen because Techno can't just at the end of the year produce a Techno Phantom that costs 120,000 Naira again it's going to leave a huge gap which Infinix I'm sure are going to exploit on it so I'm thinking either the Techno Phantom is going to be around 80,000 Naira which means it's not going to be the highest end device I've ever seen or they're actually going to bring a whole new series of smartphones which I would like I mean Infinix have the Infinix S lineups, the Infinix Hot lineups the Infinix Note lineup, the Infinix uh, Zero lineups, they have a lot, alright, to cover each and every tier that you would ever want. If you have a budget, there's a huge probability that Infinix has a smartphone just for you. So, Techno might be actually trying to introduce another lineup or just bring down the whole price of your smartphones, which is great. I'm sure they didn't get a hook lot of uh, sales of the Techno Phantom 8. Because it was freaking expensive, especially compared to Infinix 05, which was almost the same thing but cost less. So I think if they can just bring down the prices of their devices. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, video. Uh, I just saw the uh, Techno Launch and um, decided to make a video about it. Too bad I couldn't uh, actually attend the launch because. You remember the other thing I said about in different countries. So, for those of you that are actually wondering, I'm in a college in Accra, Ghana. I was in Nigeria. I'm in Nigeria. So, so yes, this me. I'm making this video from Accra, Ghana. So this set, I'm actually planning on making the full green screen. I'm actually changing the background of all my videos. Yeah. So I guess it's more YouTube out. To post more frequently now and then. So I get everything sorted out but surely you get more videos from me I'll be probably going out to the shows the ones that I'm posting after to review more of the Techno and Infinix devices of course here it's more I've seen more of them Infinix devices than Techno probably Techno not that much invested in Ghana which would be a bad decision because there's a whole niche mouth market here to uh, invest in so yeah until next time, like the video if you liked it, comment, share to anyone who has doubts or has some questions about the Techno Camon CM and um, comment some of your opinions. That's one thing I like about um, the Santo City uh, community. You guys really like to uh, voice out your complaints or voice out your recommendations. So just do that in the comment section. Of course, I will read and reply each and every single comment that is um, directed towards me. And I'm sure to make better content for you guys. Thanks for watching this video. And until next time, it's Jeremiah Daniel signing out.